Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing another tutorial using some e.l.f. Mineral eyeshadows. Um, this time I'm going to be using Sweet, which is a sort of candy floss pink colour with lots of shimmer, and Socialite, which is a gunmetal purplish kind of colour with lots of shimmer as well. So it's kind of a subtle smoky eye using pinks and purples, so it's nothing too dramatic, it uses a little bit of colour, um, so it's not like the typical blacks, greys, brown smoky eyes and it's something that you can wear on an everyday basis I feel. You can wear it during the daytime, it's not a nighttime look if you don't want it to be. Um, obviously it can be worn at night time if you'd like, if you don't like going too dramatic with your eyeshadows, but I feel like it is suitable for the daytime as well, obviously depending on you know where you're going and what you're doing. So I really love these eyeshadows, like I said before, um, I filmed a e.l.f. collection and my favourites out of that collection video so um, you'll notice these eyeshadows are in there and I do have a few colours and I really do love these eyeshadows I think they're fantastic quality, they're really pigmented, they come in a wide range of colours and they're really affordable um, I believe they're around £3.50 each if that so um, yes like I said very affordable and great colours, great pigmentation, they're really easy to work with especially if you use the e.l.f. brushes as well which are really inexpensive as well. So as you can see it's only using two colours, um, a couple of eyeliners and that's the look so without further ado let's get into the tutorial. <laughs> First we'll take a base or primer for your eyes, this is MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and just apply that to your lid going up into the crease this is going to help the shadows that we're using stick onto our lids because they are loose pigments so pat that all over your eye next I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush from the studio line and the e.l.f. mineral eyeshadow in Sweet, which is a candy floss pink with a lot of shimmer. So it looks like that. Getting some of that onto the brush. Working into the brush on the lid of the eyeshadow pot. Top off the extra and then I'm just going to take some water, you can use MAC Fix Plus or anything like that, I'm just going to be using water. You just want to spray this onto the brush just to get the product wet and that's going to help the product apply to the eye a little bit more evenly. So apply this colour all over the lid, from the inner corner to the outer corner, all over the lid and on the inner corner bring that up into the crease a little bit. Pick up some more of that colour, tap off the extra and then apply that straight to the lid and this is going to make it a little bit more vibrant so just patting that on all over the eyelid. Once you have that on, the next colour we're using is Socialite. This is a very pretty um, purple gunmetal grey colour. It's very very pretty. I'm going to be applying that with the blending eye brush from e.l.f. from the mineral line. So pick up a little bit of that on the tips of the bristles, work that into the brush on the lid, tap off the extra, so you don't want too much, just on the very tips of the bristles, and we're going to be applying this into the crease. So start at the outer corner, work that up into the crease. and then start bringing that over. You want to bring this over three-fourths of the way. You want to keep this very inner quarter clear, but bring this over three-fourths of the way, and then focus on the outer corner, the outer half, and bring that up slightly. And blend as you go along so there's no harsh edges. Blend that into the sweet colour on the outer corner. Then pick up a little bit more of that same colour, tap off the extra, 
and then just work this into the very outer corner, outer crease area, just to deepen that up slightly. So you should have something that looks like this. So you've got the pink sweet colour on the lid and then the socialite in the crease going all the way in, three fourths of the way in, leaving this very inner corner open so it doesn't make your eyes look too closed. Next you want to line your top lash line and you want to use an eyeliner that's um, very soft. Um, I'm using Benefit Smoke and Liner and as you can see this is fairly blunt, it's not sharp at all and that's what we want. We want a very soft smoked out line. So just line your top lash line. Now I'm going to be taking a black coal liner, this is L'Oreal's Contour Coal, and I'm going to be applying that to my waterline. And then to hold that in place and stop it from migrating all over your eye area and to just sort of tie it in with the look, I'm going to be taking Elf's small angle brush from the studio line, picking up a little bit more of that social light colour, tap off the extra and I'm just going to apply this directly on top of that coal eyeliner we've applied on the waterline. So just very carefully place this, you don't want to get any of this in your eye. And like I said, this is just going to set that eyeliner and keep it in place all day. So the last step is to apply mascara. I'm using Maybelline's One by One Mascara in black. So apply that to your top lashes. And don't forget your lower lashes as well. If you get any mascara smudges um, whilst you're applying your mascara, a good tip that I learned from All The Glitters 21 is leave the mascara, don't try to wipe it away straight away, otherwise it'll smudge. Finish doing the rest of your mascara, wait a few minutes, and then taking a cotton bud, just gently Wipe that over any areas that you've got smudged eyeliner and it'll just flake right off and it won't ruin your makeup. So that's it for the eyes. On my cheeks I have some of e.l.f.'s Coral Mineral Blush. On my lips I'm just going to be using some of this e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Shine in Pink Kiss. It's just a pretty pink colour with some gold shimmer to it. It's just going to help bring out the pink colour on the lids. So that's the completed look. As you can see, it is a smoky eye, but it's still quite subtle. It's not too dramatic. Um, it's something that you can wear during the daytime. Um, you know, I would feel comfortable wearing this to work. Um, so I think it's a really great look. It's very simple, very quick to do. And um, it's using mineral eyeshadows, so they're really good. They don't clog up your pores or anything like that. It's really good for your skin. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any more requests, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.